What is going on lads and welcome back to another squad build and now it's another going to be another one of them special ones as I've gone and picked myself up two more of the um, extremely rare players now you might remember that I did a squad builder with Porto, Hulk and Ajax van der Wiel and all players like that I'll leave a link to it in the description on the screen if you want to go and check it out and have you guys recommended me some more players that are extremely rare in this game and I've gone and picked them up and built a team around them of course these guys cost a lot of coins when they are even on the market so if you want to go and get yourself some coins to buy them there'll be a link to FIFA coins for sale in the description as well so let's crack on and we've only got two extremely rare players in this team as it was quite hard to put a squad around them so we're going to start off first with a French CDM which was suggested a lot in the comments and it is the Real Madrid Lasana Diara. You can see there he has now moved to the Russian League and I have managed to pick him up for 38k. If we jump over to the auction search you will see that there is currently 5 of them on the market for in the region of around 60k so not a bad deal that I managed to pick up. This was about a month or so ago now when I put that other video out. I bought him straight away and I'm just bringing this one to you now. So he's actually a really good player. He's really good at getting back. He's quality pace. He is non-rare which doesn't stand out too much in the team but as a player he rarely stands out on the pitch. Great all-round stats and he's actually got a pretty decent long shot on him as well so if you can't afford his Real Madrid one I would highly recommend picking up his Russian League one I think it is and popping him into your teams as he is a top quality centre defensive mid. Next one we have got the other rare player and it is once again a CDM and we should probably pop this onto silver otherwise we'll be searching for ages and it is the guy who is Petrov's clone. If you look on his card there EA have accidentally used Petrov's picture so some of you might know about this what happens this guy is a Nigerian and obviously he is a black guy but for some reason he is black in the game but on his card he is white and he is Stylian Petrov in the Man City kit there which is pretty strange so EA took him out of packs after realising their cock up so that's why there's none of them on the market if you see now me trying to search up for him in his club and stuff like that there's literally no Nigerian players on the market for his team so He's not the best of players, but it is kind of weird that you've got Petrov as a black guy, which is why this guy is extremely rare. And I actually bought this one absolutely ages ago. So it was for a team of clones. So I used him and Petrov. Again, I'll leave a link in the description to that if you want to go and see a load of players that look exactly the same as each other. And this guy was sort of like the crown and jewel in the thing, as he is literally exactly the same as Petrov. So bit of a strange one. People do laugh when you come up against it online. If you can pick this guy up, I would recommend it. I actually got him for 10k and there's literally none of them on the market now. So I may list mine up if one of you wants to go and pick it up, but we'll have to see about that. What I'm going to now do is jump over to the full team and show you the hybrid that I've built around these guys. And then we'll pop into a game and have a little match with some face cam with some of these players and see if we can get a victory for them. So lads, there it is, the full team that you can see. We have got a nice little hybrid going on to work in the French players. So you've got Costil in goal, who pairs up nicely at centre-back with Apan. We've got another Nigerian centre-back, Armeru. I'm going to pronounce his name as pretty decent centre-backs, both of them really fast. We've got Ferran, could have gone for his team of the season card, which I pink-slipped, but we decided to just, for the purpose of this squad, pick up the normal one. Got Bibiani, again, given the French League link over on the side, who links also to Obi to get the Nigerian links going over to Yutaka and Salami himself. Bit of a pace demon on the wings with Yutaka and Bibiani, and then up front, we've got the almighty sweat combo, that is Emma Nike, and the upgraded version of Oberfemi Martins, who is absolutely incredible with his five-star weak foot. So, that is the team, nice 99 camp, nice little cheeky bit of hybrid as well, if I do say so myself. So, if you have enjoyed this video and don't want to stick around for the highlights of some game, make sure you drop a like on this video of course and make sure you subscribe if you are new and go and check out my team of the season Falcao pink slip as if that gets to a stupid amount of likes I am going to be pink slipping a team of the season Ronaldo or team of the season Messi so if you want to go and get involved in that I'll leave a link to that video in the description too but I'm going to hand it over to myself now where I will be playing a game with a bit of face cam and we'll just jump into some of the action so I'll see you in a second lads. So lads we are in the semi-final of the gold cup Unfortunately, no knitted bananas jumper for you today. I've just got a plain white pajama top on. So let's see what team this guy has got. He's got a pretty decent French and then our Bemiang team. So sweaty as hell. I haven't played too much FIFA recently. I've been playing The Last of Us a lot. So we'll have to see how this goes down. We've got a really sweaty attack, but we haven't got the best of defences really. So let's see how we get on. Go on, Emini K. Oh, what a goal. There we go. 1-0 in the 11th minute. The sweat combo up front doing the business with MNDK, bagging himself the first goal. 1 2 over the top. There goes MNDK, use that pace. Cuts inside, bangs it. There we go, 2 0. Absolute god of a player is MNDK. 
Obi inside. Oh, he's used the pace. Can he slot it under the keeper? Yes, he can. 3-0. 37th minute. Absolutely dominating this game. So, it is half-time, and we are winning 3-0. Absolutely dominating this game. We'll check to see if he's had a shot, but I don't think he has. He may have had one or two comfortable ones for the keeper. So, let's jump into the stats and have a little look. As you can see, he's had one shot, and it wasn't on target. We have had six shots on target, and we are dominating the possession as well. So, it's been a pretty decent game. The sweaty strike force of MNEK and Obi and Martin is just doing the business, really. Nigeria OP. Martin's with the pace. Martin's with the tramp, MNDK with the goal. There we go, a bit sweaty considering we're 3-0 up, but we don't care. Penalty, there we go, we'll have another goal. We'll stick our goalkeeper on it just for a laugh, shall we? Goalkeeper steps up, smashes it down the middle, and it's off the bar and shitting hell. Obi's banged it, Obi's banged it into the back of the net. 88th minute, we've got ourselves another goal. There we go, lads. That is the end of the game. We have won a convincing lead of 5-0. Could have been 6 if we haven't been a dick and put the keeper on the goalie. The keeper on the goalie, the keeper on the penalty. But that is it, lads. This is actually a pretty decent team going forward.